no such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Let a nigga know that he alive Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass Let a nigga know that he alive Don't be sleeping on your level cause it's beauty in the street Hi, uh, what's going on everyone? My name is Alan Pan. I'm your host for the video. I'm a sophomore at Old Dominion University, I'm also a resident here at Powhatan Apartments. And today's video is gonna be all about Powhatan Apartments, uh, area the parking lots the pros and the cons and without further ado let's get straight into the video everyone okay so walking into the building we have the side door which is like an extra room i never use it though and we also have two two small chairs and a couch. And we also have this really nice ceiling fan. Really nice lights. Anyways, the kitchen, we have a refrigerator. Some stuff at the top. We got a pantry. All the kitchen stuff. Don't mind us. We have a lot of stuff right now. You know, four people living here, but cabinets. A lot of cabinets for storage. The only thing that it really comes with is just a stove top and a fridge. All the appliances we had to bring ourselves. Next, we're getting into uh, room A, room B. Those are two rooms, but we also have the side closet and two bathrooms. This is a one and a half bathroom. This is the first bathroom, mirror, sink, toilet, and then the shower, of course. But this shower is kind of bad, uh, so I so I can turn it on the second shower thing isn't really working it's like water coming half out and it's not even hot some of the times too and it's a pretty old shower so I see why it has issues and with the other half bathroom it's just a half bathroom nothing much to it they want to be in there too long I don't really be in there yeah, half bathroom. And I'm uh, getting into my room. I didn't want to review my other roommate's room, but this is where I live at. Uh, please don't judge me too much, but here's my desk and here's my bed. Two twin size bed come in a room. Drawers underneath, a decent amount of space to live in. Uh, you can see the background walls, like brick prison walls, but you see the desk. It comes with two desks two big drawers and then two small drawers for both sides and we got some closet space in the back as well which is cluttered up but it's a decent amount of space and we also have this really nice ceiling fan as well with that being said i wanted to show a viewpoint from above so what i just showcased is one of the sets this is two sets of what i just showed you so where you're living it's just one side so it'll be bedroom one bedroom two kitchen and living room now getting to the parking spots, this is lot 32. So this is where it's the closest to the Powhatan apartments. But this one is usually always filled up. This is just a new look. This one is always packed up as you can see, but this is the most convenient one. The next parking spot that's gonna be here is gonna be lot 42. So lot 42, it's a pretty, pretty big parking spot. It's usually always the space open, but closer to Powhatan Apartments is always filled up. And the reason why this parking lot is so big is because we're right next to another set of dorms. It's called Whitehurst Dorms. I actually stayed there last year. But this is a parking spot I usually always park at. It's really, really big, and it's always usually availability to park at. All right, everyone. So I wanted to get started with the pros and cons of the Powhatan Apartments. So let's start with the pros first. Pros, first pro, cheap, I think it's about 5k every semester, cheap, 5k every semester, close to the gym, so if you, if you like to work out, good thing, big and close parking. Most other dorms don't have that, even though it's full most of the time. 
So, this is pro. We have the kitchen and living room. Most doors don't have kitchens, most doors don't have living rooms. And next, I'll say you can have quick work orders in there too. Uh, so based on how fast you communicate, you get your quick work order done as soon as possible. And yeah, those are my pros and cons. Now for my first con, no singles. You have to have a roommate. You have to have a roommate. So find you a good roommate if you want to live here. Lot is always full. Parking lot, even though it's big and close, is always full for some reason. And uh, no singles, parking lot is full. The condition. The condition of the apartments aren't really well. The uh, it's pretty old, so and that goes on. What I was saying earlier about the showers, hot water unavailable at times. Sometimes we'll literally have no hot water at all, and bad shower head. So the overall apartment is in bad condition. The shower head is broken a bit, so the water doesn't come out and there's not hot water. And terrible shower, okay. So that's all I really have for pros and cons that I can really think of on my head. So overall, I'll give it a rating of three out of five. You can't go wrong with the price you have here. We want to live for cheap, so three out of five stars, guys. With that being said, everyone, thank you for watching my video today. I hope you found this video very informative and help you make a decision on where you want to stay at next semester at Old Dominion University, or if you want to transfer here or whatnot. And with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate the support. Please like and subscribe. With that being said, man, I hope we all find success in the future. Peace out.